would you go? Where would you go? Try to do a lasso. Could you run into? Could you run into? Could you go run into me? Do, 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 do. Where would you go? Where would you go? Where would you go? Try to do a lasso. Could you run into? Could you run into? Could you go run into me? Don't realize. Do, do, don't realize. <coughs> say it too, but you say it too. Where would you go? Where would you go? Pag-aresto sa isang sospek sa kasong murder at frustrated murder sa Cavite na uwi sa enkwentro. <coughs> so in this video, kids, we're going to experiment with or we're going to have an exercise on um, refresh tokens. Okay, so let's do this. So first, let us search what is auth0 refresh token sample example. Sample, right? How to implement refresh tokens? Okay. Um, okay. So auth zero issues an access token or an ID token in response to an authentication request. You can use access tokens to make authenticated calls to a secure API, while the ID token contains user profile attributes represented in the form of claims. Both are JSON web tokens and therefore have expiration dates indicated using the EXP claims as well as security measures like signatures. Okay, so let's, let's check. <clears throat> Did we console log this? Let's go to our auth zero here. <clears throat> and real uh, so we have the login here. So auth the user so we can Subscribe to the auth, auth, the user, the subscribe, all right, next, data, console.log data, all right, ba -ba So let's see. In the article, where's the article? Right. So, <clears throat> so and therefore, and expression dates indicated using the exp claim. Where is the exp claim? Is not here. So what token is this? Oh, as well as security measures like signatures. Typically, a user needs a new 
access token when getting access to a resource for the first time or after the previous access token granted to them expires. An OAuth refresh token is, an, is a credential artifact that OAuth can use to get a new access token without user interaction. See, um, yeah. So you don't have to say, hey, you're about to expire. Uh, you need to to get another token. So you don't have to do that again. You it will just silently get a refresh token. Okay, so this allows the authorization server to shorten the access token lifetime for security purposes without involving the user when the access token expires. Yeah, so you have to make the lifetime of the access token short to that yeah it says here it's for security purposes okay am i recording this no, yeah okay and you re you can request new access tokens until the refresh token is on the deny list so once the refresh token is on the deny list then you need to have a a user interaction, right? You can request new access tokens. Refresh tokens? You can request new access tokens until the refresh token is on the denial list. What? It is important to keep the number of refresh tokens within a reasonable, manageable limit to make sure that it's easy to maintain those credentials safely and securely. Applications must store refresh tokens securely because they essentially allow a user to remain authenticated forever. What? Applications must store refresh tokens securely because they essentially allow a user to remain authenticated forever. Yeah, so uh, how do we do that? If you want to allow users to get refresh tokens while offline, you can select the all allow offline access switch in API settings. So let's go to our auth zero settings and we are using what client ID are we using here boy? Uh let I will not show you the the domain that I'm using because I'm a view so so let's see which, 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 which domain am I using here? Uh, let's see which domain am I using in here? Nope, I think I'm on a different I'm on, uh, I'll just log out and log in again. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I can't show you what I'm doing here because I am accessing my auth zero applications and I might expose some things that doesn't have, doesn't need to be exposed. Okay, so here. I found where I am using what I'm using. Okay, so this is my domain. Okay, so I got my domain. Okay, <clears throat> so okay, so it says here offline access. If you want to allow users to get refresh tokens while offline, you can select the off allow offline access switch in API settings. So where is that? API settings. The API settings. Use the settings tab in the auth zero dashboard. API, API, applications, API, okay. To configure registered APIs that you can consume to your authorized applica applications. 
Okay, okay, so this one. So in the API settings, click next to an API in the list, select the settings, select the settings, on the, or click the API name to learn how to create and register an API settings. Name, identifier, token settings. Token settings, okay. Where is it? Where is it that I allows to allow offline access? Or allow offline access. Where is it? Offline. Allow offline access enables this. Allow offline outer access setting allow skipping. I only have the allow skipping user content. I don't have the allow offline access. Allow offline access, enable the setting to allow applications to ask for refresh token for the API. What? Refresh token, refresh. <clears throat> so apparently my application here doesn't support allow offline settings allow offline access enable the setting to allow applications to ask for refresh tokens for the api okay okay so how do we do that Where would you go? Where would you go? Allow skipping user content. Enable the setting for the API to skip user content for applications flag as first party. So let's go to other APIs if I have a refresh token. So this is an API that I, oh, there's a refresh token. Allow refresh token. Alright, so here, so I also have an allow refresh token. Okay, so I have set up um, <clears throat> hmm. uh, hold on, la, 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 la. yeah, so this requires some setting setup. I need to set up a new one so that yeah, I can test or maybe yeah, how do we do this? Um yeah, I, maybe my uh, previous application is still I can still be able to um. Uh, run so that's it for now I will get back to you on how to get refresh tokens uh, in my application using auth 0 all right all right all right thank you Do <laughs> 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 